Hi everyone, Carol here. I'd like to introduce you to Picasso. Picasso is a fiberglass cow that was originally painted by Ron Howard. Yes, Yvonne Howard, the director. New owners have commissioned myself and with some help from my husband David to restore him to his former glory. Unfortunately, Picasso has been out in the weather and he's a bit chipped and the fiberglass is coming apart in a few areas. So my husband David is gonna patch him up and get him all ready for me and I'm going to paint him and bring him back to life. So we're gonna be uh, regular chipping Joanna here. Uh, but my husband's English, so there might be some English curse words going on. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, we'd love to take you along for the journey. You ready for Calso? Let's do this. So David's made a lot of progress fixing Picasso. He's been working on the bottom of Picasso. Uh, there was a big crack in the fiberglass around his belly, so he fixed that. And he's been filling all the chips with Bondo, and he's been sanding it down. So uh, David, why don't you just tell us a little bit about your process and how you fix this, especially this big crack that was in his belly. So there was a crack that ran down each side and then across and uh, the best way to fix it I felt was to use fiberglass tape so to make the tape lie flat I cut into the surface um, with a grinder and then put in the fiberglass tape and then I've covered it over with Bondo and sanded that down so it's smooth I've got a few small little divots to fill in and then on the hooves the hooves the hooves I um, fiberglassed in some PVC trim to give it more stability for when I re-drill the holes and those fix to the 
anchoring points on the platform. So those are fiberglassed in, bondo to smooth out, and now I'm just going over all the cracks or the divots, either rubbing them out or and or filling them in with bondo so the cow will have a nice smooth paint surface. Yeah, he's getting it all ready for me. So hopefully I can start painting soon. Yeah. All right, great. Great work, Han. Thank you. Now that David is just about finished prepping Picasso, I'm excited to start painting. So I'm going to be using golden heavy body acrylics and they're good for interior and exterior applications, providing you really follow the directions. There are actually some pigments that aren't good for exterior use due to their light fastness. So I had to be sure that I picked the right pigments and I'm gonna be using them in my palette to mix them and try to match the colors that Ron originally used. The next step after painting is going to be varnishing and that's a whole different story. So I'm gonna show you how we do that and we've gotta be very particular about that because we wanna protect the paint underneath from the weather and Picasso will be outside. So we wanna make sure that he's protected and waterproofed. So I'm excited to get started.
Now that Picasso is repaired and painted, he's ready to be varnished. And this is a crucial step in the process. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint him with an isolation coat. The isolation coat acts as a barrier between the acrylic paint and the varnish that you place on top. So if you ever have to repair the varnish, this isolation coat is going to protect that acrylic paint. We're gonna let this dry overnight. And then the next step is to mix our varnish. So the varnish will be mixed with one part solvent and three parts varnish. And this is a gloss varnish and it has UV protection in it. It's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. So we're going to give Picasso a couple of coats of varnish to really protect the acrylic paint underneath. So we're gonna start this process and after that's done, we're going to return Picasso back to his owners and we're gonna put him back on his platform and he'll be out to pasture. So Picasso is finally finished. He's been repaired, painted, varnished, and he's all shiny and new again. He's ready to go back home.